Hello crafty friends, welcome, this is Amy. Let's get started. I am using a Dollar Tree, this is one of the little pickups. Um, I wanted a red one and to customize it myself. So I'm just sanding off the glitter. And I painted it with the Crimson Red from Waverly. And I did a couple coats. And I'm just putting on some white to give it that rear, rear, rear view window. And that one I put on with acrylic paint. And so I, it doesn't cover as well. So um, I should have used the uh, chalk paint right away, but I didn't. But I did in the very end. And I'm using what's left on my brush of the acrylic white just to give it some you know, dimension, and then I did take some of the brown truffle paint and just giving it some highlights and lowlights. That helps it look a little more three-dimensional. I had a lot of fun making this little truck. It, uh, I don't know, there's just something to painting and, you know, seeing the change in something. It just is very, uh, very fun to do. And so if you've never tried to paint, this would be something that you should start with because it's kind of already there. You know, the design, you could just go over it and change things, whatever, and it's just a lot of fun. I am adding a little bit of the silver in into the uh, window to give it a little bit of a reflection look and then adding the rest on my brush just put that silver right on the bumper and added a little bit for the the tires and I'm just taking my exacto knife and I'm just trimming away those where they were pumpkins and adding a little bit of black just to give it a little a little more 3D look. This is a ribbon I got at Dollar Tree and I cut out the pumpkins and the ribbon itself has a little red truck and pumpkins in there. And then I just used dimensionals and put them on there so it was stood up a little bit and looked three dimensional. And using some of the foam, the uh, foam core poster board kind of stuff and just going to make a little sign with that and I painted it I sanded it painted it and then I'm using a uh, a window cling that I kind of liked and I put that on there and I put Mod Podge on the window cling and then over the top Just putting some more of that truffle on that metal leaf. And then I'm just going to hot glue everything on. And that's all I did with it to finish it up and I liked how it turned out and it wasn't hard at all to make as you could see me going through the process you can do this and it was just a lot of fun DIY number two okay so I had a piece of um, wood from Dollar Tree. It's one of those decorative ones. And what I did is I put some Mod Podge on there. You allow it to dry and then you put your paper on and you can just put the hot iron on there. And basically that just re it'll heat up the Mod Podge underneath the paper and it sticks very well. 
just check your edges, make sure everything's stuck down. And then I have another new technique to show you. This is a window cling from that same set. And put your parchment paper on top, and then again, your hot iron. It melts the window cling, and it stays just fine. If any of the edges are not um, secured down, you just go over it again with the hot iron. Just make sure you always use parchment paper on this because it is plastic and it would stick to your iron if you didn't have the paper on the top. And then I just, you know, made it a little grungy by putting on a little white and a little dark paint and sanded it. I, um, put the jute string back on and it was ready for the wall. I really love how that turned out and so it's a great technique that we'll be doing more in the future. And that paper is just so cute. DIY number three. Okay, this is a burner cover that I used the, the larger one on another DIY and I'm just going to make a topper. And so the part that's gonna be, that you'll see will be the part where the fiber fill is. So it's got a, it's got a pillow top to it. And just taking some decorative fabric and just wrapping that until it's all encased in there. And then I, was trying to yeah see how it sits on top of the bucket and so i was trying to make a nice circle so i could cover up the back and make it nice and perfect well what i ended up with was an oval so you should probably take the fabric before you put the pillow top on and make your circle and then it'll fit really good and then i just used some hot glue and put that down and it held it nice there is a little bit of red in there, so I debated whether using red or orange. I opted to go with the red just because it would give it a little more pop. So I am wrapping it around and I'm securing it in certain spots with the hot glue. And then I made two loops to give it a nice little bow. And then I secured it all with a little jute string, as you can see and tie it in a knot and then the strings were already there because I had tied that bow you just trim those ends and so you've got a nice looking bow when you get done all right and I did put a line of hot glue in there just so that top would sit in there nicely and I'm looking at it and I don't like how you look down and then there's those loops. And so I did put some red floral in there and I did add a few pieces of orange just to make sure everything tied together nicely. And now I have a bucket and I'm, you know, it's not a huge bucket, but I could use it for holding different things. You know, if I had, uh, you know, something that would not, you don't worry about getting crushed up or whatever, you could put that in there. I used to have something similar and I'd hold fabric pieces in it. And maybe that'll be the perfect thing for this. DIY number four. Okay, this is a really quick one um, using the Waverly Colors Pool Agave and Peacock. And those colors I chose because they kind of go in order of an ombre look. And when you're doing ombre, it's going to go from dark and it's like a gradual 
um, gradient, gradient to go to dark, medium, and light. And so I'm starting with just painting the tips of these pine cone, the pine cones, and just going to do the dark at the bottom. And I'm doing like, you know, two layers, if you would call it that. And then agave, I'm going to go, it's the medium one. And I'll do a couple more layers, two to three. And then the very tip tips are going to be um, pool color. And this one, as it dried, it really turned out really neat. It was my favorite. The blue is my favorite. I tend to be kind of a blue person anyway. But yeah, it turned out really cute. Now the rest of them, I'm using just one color and then I'm just making the gradient with the white paint. And so I don't know what I was thinking, but I decided to go with truffle. So it's brown on brown. But I'd already started, so I'm like, I'm going to just keep going and see how it turns out because I know I would be lightening the color at some point. And so here it is, the medium color, um, and it did show up a little better. And then the top one is even more lighter. So you can see some of it. Here's the orange pumpkin, same technique straight orange at the bottom and then the medium light and then the the lightest one on the top these also made me think of what people do they'll take and dip pine cones in wax and then they'll use them for fire starters for the fireplace and the last one i made was with the maize yellow that one really popped out too. Yeah, and there's that blue nice and dry and the pictures don't do them justice. They're very pretty. I do suggest you try it and maybe even just if you wanted to do the entire leaf if that's what they call them on a pine cone, that would look really pretty. Yeah, and another idea would be just do white. You could do some uh, glitter on them or, yeah, there's a lot of uh, options you can do with pine cones. It's just kind of fun. Okay, the last DIY. This one is another cute, quick and easy one. I needed a spot to put my paintbrushes. And so I thought, I'm just going to decorate a tin can. And so I got out that agave chalk paint and used that. And I did two coats. I allow it to dry in between. And while things were drying, I put some white paint and I painted on these little chalkboard they're just little uh, pin on chalkboard things from Dollar Tree and you get four in a package and they just clip on and so I know that color agave goes really good with gray and so because the ribbon was a little thick I trimmed it down and then I layered it on top of the burlap but I did want to take and take a couple of the strands off. And then I just glued it on with hot glue. And I did just put a little glue in the middle just to keep things secure and not slide around. and then pin on your little clip. It's just as easy as that. I wanna thank you for stopping in and watching my video. I very much appreciate it. I've got a lot, a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of ideas, and I'm excited. Thank you again, and you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.